Yo, what is happening, everybody? Magnification. Today, I'm here, guys, with my reaction to the V7 OST of Ruby. So, yeah, we are finally here. This should be coming out right after my reaction to the finale comes out. But I'm actually recording this uh, about a week after I recorded the finale for V7. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I recorded that a little while ago. So that's why I mean, uh, like. You know, recognize some of the songs right away. I do uh, remember some of the ones that I was editing just now, pretty much. So, you know, we have the songs that played when they finally became official Huntsmen. That was a pretty cool song when they were doing a montage of them uh, working as Huntsmen. Uh, but yeah, we have that one. We have the Ironwood song from his fight against Watts. So we have quite a bunch of songs here. I'm pretty excited. We actually have uh, I May Fall acoustic version, which is an interesting choice. I think it fits pretty well here, but I May Fall was a song that played in V3, but was actually originally in V1, I believe, or V2. I remember it was before V3 um, that they had that song. Maybe it was V1, I don't really remember, to be honest, but yeah, it was a while ago. So that's interesting that they went with that, but yeah. Dude, I'm excited. I think I'm actually going to record also today the first chapter for V8. Which is pretty exciting. It's gonna be my first volume that I'm gonna be caught up with, you know? So yeah, pretty excited for that. Soon. That is gonna be soon in the channel. If you guys are watching this video, then yeah, probably in the next week for you or something like that. You're gonna have uh, my reaction to the first two chapters of V8. I think by the point this video is up, only the first two chapters are available. Soon, uh, the third one will be available as well. But yeah, you can bet that... Uh, on the third episode, I'm gonna be there, caught up, and yeah, as the episodes come out, you guys will be having my reactions to them weekly, okay, and soon enough, you will be having the replacement for Ruby, which is gonna be very fucking awesome, I don't remember now if I actually already talked about that, maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I'm not gonna say it just in case, maybe you guys already know uh, what the replacement is gonna be, some people know, I told some people on discord and stuff uh which by the way if you're not there yet go join um but yeah anyways yeah i think this is pretty much all i want to say i'm excited for the the v7 ic v7 had quite a bunch of songs some which i really fucking liked the op is interesting because like the op visually speaking i think was better than the v6 op but the v6 op is still my favorite the song you know but yeah i'm excited to listen to the full version of this one see what's up uh, it is a, a very different song, type of song. It kind of reminds me of Persona music, a bit. Uh, I remember there was a song in Ruby that reminded me quite a bit of Persona. I just can't remember now which one it was, but I mentioned when I listened to it, I mentioned, damn, this sounds like Persona. This one kind of gives me that same vibe, you know, in a way. Yeah, I'm excited to listen to the full version of it. It's... Um, it's gonna be the, the first song, as usual, the opening. Oh, by the way, forgot to say this, but I'm using uh, the Sirs and Madams uh, playlist for this one, okay? So yeah, I believe they did a good job, I heard some good things about it. Flint, I think he just didn't really do much. Like, at the point I'm recording this video, he doesn't have a lot of songs out. Uh, so yeah, like, you know, I, I just decided to use their playlist since, yeah, it has everything. And I heard some good things about it, so yeah. Cool, uh, just wanted to let you guys know about that before, okay? I think the only one here in the playlist I'm using that was made by different people was the acoustic one. But yeah, anyways, trust love. Open up your eyes, trust love. Let's go, man. I'm excited, uh, as you guys can see. So yeah, I'm going to start this in 3, 2, 1, and now. Let's do this. Wishing for some clarity. Mm. Dude, this song is so interesting because trust love, and then what happens later in V7, right?
girl's life. Yep, there we go. Yeah. We were doing quite well up until when shit went down and yeah, trusting love didn't work out that well. All right, let's go. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, this ain't no fairy tale. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Basically saying this isn't a fucking uh, fairy tale, right? This isn't fantasy. This is real life. Lies. Okay, interesting. Solo time. Nice. Interesting, the miracle, huh? Rise like the moon. Eyes, <laughs> ah, nice. When you don't know turn to wait it for one come. Back here, huh? The first verse. Cool, I like the song. All right. So that was Trust Love, guys the opening for v7 of course obviously uh love was the main thing here but also the fairy tale thing this isn't a fairy tale i like how they talked about the miracle there as well which was a callback to one of the songs in the v6 ost i believe at least right because it's not a miracle that's gonna show you how so yeah they were talking about a miracle right in front of our eyes last time and, and here no it's not a miracle it's not a mirror. It's not gonna be a miracle. I wonder why I opened up our eyes. This is an interesting thing here. I didn't think about because, like, okay, the song says right when you don't know where to turn to and you're sure all hope is gone. So again, kind of what we got in I May Fall, right? Kind of the same thing. I wonder if I May Fall is actually referring. I wonder if like I May Fall in this, because I always thought I May Fall was referring to V3, right? What if it wasn't? What if it was referring to V8? I don't know who knows or maybe even something from beyond that right maybe not even v8 but something is gonna happen eventually because then the the sky turns black and stuff right and here again kind of the same thing here uh all hope is gone the day you waited for won't come dark want you to dawn mm, yeah again dark want you to dawn so a day where the sky is gonna be black right uh morning is not coming that's an interesting thing. I wonder exactly uh, when we're gonna get that. Are we gonna get that at one point? Maybe. Who knows? But yeah. Um, let's say here, when this time comes, trust love and open up your eyes. Why open up your eyes? Does that mean that they are ignorant of something yet and they're gonna realize eventually? Huh. Look inside and your search and be alive. It's time to rise to realize. They say that there, right? Like, is there something we don't know yet? Because I thought Trust Love was basically, at first, what I thought was 
you know, how we are all coming together, telling everyone the truth. He plans on telling everyone the truth, right? We just have to trust each other, trust love. I thought that was it, but maybe not. Maybe that's not it. That's gonna be my theory that this song is also it's not just referring to V7 stuff, which was what I initially thought. But it is referring to the miracle. Huh, okay. So the miracle thing that we got there, right? A miracle right in front of our eyes. A miracle right in front of our eyes, right? They finally realized that the miracle has been there all along. Is it gonna be a thing where like they actually can defeat Salem and they just didn't realize? Maybe not destroy her, but defeat her, you know, somehow. Uh and that's the miracle. And that's also what they're talking about here. Look inside and realize. So they are gonna realize eventually, right? This is what I'm gonna go with. Maybe it, it isn't this at all. And I'm sure there's multiple interpretations. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, okay? What you think this is referring to. Of course, it's to be expected that I'm gonna have different guesses. Probably very, very different from what you guys guessed. Uh, but yeah, that's the magic of, um, of these reactions, right? Seeing how people interpret things. And yeah, that's, that's cool. Okay, that's it for me, I think, for Trust Love. Next song is Torch the Sky. Cool. I don't even remember this one. Maybe it's gonna be the one that... Oh, okay, hold on. Okay, from the picture here, I guess it's the one from the mine, right? Okay, yeah, let's go. Let's get into that. Five minute song, huh? Damn, okay. Today I changed my place in history. Nice start. Today I'm gonna start a brand new hmm. Nice. Hmm, I wonder whose uh, perspective this is, you know, like what character we are following here. That was the V4 OP, wasn't it? Nice. Cool song. Okay. Dude, this song is so different. All the different instruments, I like it. The bass is fucking awesome. interesting no drums for a little bit then back to it again again that was so cool Dun, 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 dun. Okay, not gonna lie though, I'm mostly commenting on the instrumentals here, not much in the lyrics, because I'm a bit confused, I don't know exactly what the lyrics are referring to here, like, is it that they are now finally Hotspot?
Nice. Right now. Impressed, okay. We're gonna end it with the piano. All right, wow, okay. That was Touch the Sky. Wow, I really, really like this one. Uh, it was another song that. I think Miracle was like that for me. That has a very good instrumentation. Very good composition, you know. Lots of different instruments. Very creative. I think there's probably like... Because I recognize the... Dun, 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 dun. I think there's probably more in this song that's like hidden. You can probably notice from the instruments. You know, I mean, of course in the lyrics. There's a lot to uncover here, but from the instruments alone... There's probably a lot in there as well, so that's cool. Yeah, I think when it comes to instruments, it is one of my favorite songs from Ruby, most definitely. The lyrics, like I said, a bit confusing for me. Maybe I'm dumb, but okay, let's go through it. Uh, today I'm gonna change my place in history. Today I'm gonna start a brand new life. Okay, is it because they're hunt huntresses? Huntresses? <laughs> Huntsman. I always say Huntsman, I know that that's the male, you know, way to say it, but yeah. The Huntresses? I think so, right? But yeah, now that they are officially that. Is it that what it's talking about? Brand new life? I don't know, man. I don't know. Done with suffering? Had enough misery? They're not done with suffering. Not at all. And Ruby herself said she doesn't feel like much change now that she's officially a Huntress. So... I'm not sure if that's what this is referring to, honestly. That's why I was a little confused. Um, finally on a path that's heading somewhere bright. A different kind of energy, kicking everything to overdrive, flying self-assured and free. Cool. Okay. Yeah, this, this verse about flying. No idea what it's trying to represent here. It's been a long, long time since I felt this way right now. I'm just a bit surprised. Because I feel just fine and I might even touch the sky. Yeah, because she's flying, she's gonna touch the sky. Obviously, nothing literal representing that. I don't know if it's like the entire Team Ruby or just a character here. Um, but yeah, it is representing that they are free, they are flying. They have their own, oh, maybe because after being official huntsman, they have their own path to follow. They don't have to follow something specific. Of course, they are trying to defeat Salem, but they are free to choose what type of huntress or huntsman they want to be, right? So, maybe that is what it is referring to? I don't know. I don't even think they are really worried about that too much. You know, they are so worried about Salem that they can't even really enjoy that, that fact, you know? That's what I feel like, at least. Uh, I'm climbing higher than the past behind me, heights like I never dreamed. Finally learned I need to do it my way. Oh, okay. Maybe I'm right in this one. Do it my way. Maybe I am right about it being, you know, that they can follow their own path here. Uh, When I trust in me, I'm free. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I guess that's it for me, guys. For Touch the Sky. Like I said, I don't know. I may be completely wrong in this one. But yeah, cool stuff. Let's jump into Hero. Was it the Ironwood song? Maybe. Let's get into it there, guys. Let's go. I'm hyped. 
Okay. Oh. Caleb Hiles. Interesting. I'm here to protect you. Hmm. Whoa! These are some epic vocals, man. Yeah. Ironwood, for sure. Yep. Badass, man. Nice. Wow. <laughs> I would die. Nice. <laughs> Damn, yeah. That's why I respect this man. If you guys watch my V7 reactions, you know. I completely understand everything he did. And he was right. He was right. Damn. Cool. Yeah, yep. He's taking out the blame. He doesn't care. It's for the greater good, basically. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. I'll take your hand, my man, for sure. Wow, just hold on, nice. Dude, this is so cool. Interesting. Inner Ironwood monologue. Basically. His emotions. Not quite monologue, but yeah. Nice. Dude, this song is awesome. This song is fucking awesome. I love it. <laughs> you guys know I'm an Ironwood fanboy, so... It's to be expected that I would fucking love this song. Hero. Nice. Go, 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 go. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. That was Hero. So, yeah, this song had a uh, Caleb in it. Uh, Caleb Hiles and he's a person that I didn't know really but upon searching here oh I think I probably actually listened to something of his before I'm just searching real quick okay uh, don't mind me I just entered his channel and I see uh, it's familiar I probably listened to some of his stuff before he does a lot of covers and yeah he does basically metal covers I think I don't know if he does only that but just upon looking at his channel real quick I see that and yeah, that's very cool that they uh, got him for uh, an official song. That's cool. Um, but yeah, this was an epic song. Again, right? I remember... Oh, this is pretty straightforward, right? In what uh, it is. It's basically Ironwood. And how he is going to be the hero. He's going to save humanity from Salem. 
if he does the thing, gets Atlas up there, floating on the atmosphere, no Grim will get there. GG for humanity. We get the communication around the globe. You know, that's his goal. He doesn't care if people see him as a villain, as cruel, as heartless. He's gonna leave Mento to die down there. He doesn't care though. It's a sacrifice needed, right? But that's why uh, this music, the lyrics, are portraying here pretty much, right? It's pretty uh, basic. It's not like some of the other songs where you have to kind of think a bit what the songs are trying to mean. No, this is pretty uh, straightforward, like I said. And yeah, I like it. I like a little bit of um, inner, I said monologue, not quite monologue. Like his emotions, right? I guess saying that what if it's true? As they say that I don't have a heart, right? Uh, so yeah, just questioning himself. Am I doing the, the right thing? Do I really not have a heart? Um, but then he said, what would that change? Would it matter at all? I've made my plan. So yeah, even though he knows, he has that in mind, he keeps that in mind. Still, he has his plan and he believes 100% that that's the best thing uh, that he should do. That's why he should do. And he's doing it. He doesn't give a fuck if people see him as a villain. So yeah, good stuff. <laughs> I like that. Really cool. Yeah, great song. Loved it. Let's move on to the next one. Brand New Day. All right. So I think this one is the one that played when they became Huntsman. I think. Let's see. Let's get into that, guys. Yep. It's it. Uh, this is a pretty fun song. Yep. It's a ray. Interesting. Redesign, wow. Wow. Everyone got a redesign this season. <laughs> wow, they even missed that. I'll start with a new haircut. <laughs> wow. Cool. Yeah, and this kind of works well with um, that other song as well, Touch the Sky. If my interpretation was correct, just works perfectly with that. Yeah. Okay, so was that was that supposed to be Blake in here? Oh, okay, definitely. Here's Crow, definitely talking about drunk. If I had any doubts, they're gone now. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, cool, cool. Yep. Are we getting a different character now? Brand new day. Solo, of course. Gotta have one.
Back to Crow. Damn. Skilled folk coward, huh? Yep. Nice. Indeed. Brand new day. Cool. Cool, cool. Okay, guys. So that was brand new day, as I thought. It's a song that goes pretty well with uh, the Touch the Sky one, right? It's basically a new beginning for everyone. They have the new redesign. <laughs> Which they mentioned there, everything starts with a new haircut. Wow, cool, very cool. Um, yeah, we got that, and yeah, interesting, interesting that Blake is the one here. I wonder if she actually is the one. Like, uh, the crow part is most definitely crow, like, that's pretty obvious. Both of them were singing together the train wreck that I have been, right? I gotta change that, and yeah, Blake is the one that also had a lot of problems, right? With like running away, all that stuff, and she fixed that. Uh, Crow took a little longer to fix his problems as well, but he's working on it. And yeah, I can definitely see the song being about both of them. Um, but yeah, very cool, very cool stuff. Very cool song, very fun. <laughs> Has this old school style, you know, with the ba 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 thing. Um, I don't think I have much to say here, honestly, about this one. Next song we have here, Let's Get Real. Alright, I don't even remember which one this is, but let's get into it, guys. Okay. Hmm, okay. Oh, okay. This is it. Nora and Ren ship. I forgot the name of the ship. Sorry about that. <laughs> I know every ship has a name. Definitely not. <laughs> nice. Cool, cool. <laughs> Fun song. Yeah, that's what she wants to hear. She waited long enough, to be fair. Seven volumes. I'm sure it's the same for him. He's just a tsundere, right? Doesn't admit it. <laughs> Since, yeah, they have been together for a long fucking time now, since they were kids. Oh, cool, I like this. Nice. 
All right. Is it just because we don't have much songs like this with this style, right? Rock is usually the style for um, Ruby OST in general. So I like it. I like when they go for different things like this. Cute. Okay. Nice, nice. All right, guys. So let's get real. That was it again. Another song that I think I don't really need to talk much about it. It's just a Nora and Ren ship song. Yeah, Nora and Ren finally became official in V7. Finally got the first kiss. And yeah, very cool. Kind of reminds me of Boop, you know, in being a Nora and Ren centered song, but at the same time with some new spice to it, which I fucking like. And yeah. Like I said, Nora and Ren song. I like the ship. Just makes sense. They've been together for a long, long time. So yeah, they've been together for a long time, but not together together. Well, bro, why am I remembering all the fucking lines? <laughs> but yeah, you know what I mean? They are finally together together now. So that's cool. And yeah, I'm excited to see more from that in V8, hopefully, from their relationship. How it's gonna change now, right? But yeah, um, what is the next song here that we have? War. Oh fuck, what is this one? I don't even remember, but let's get into it, guys. Oh, okay, I remember this. When was this again playing? I I can't remember. Like I remember the song, but I don't remember when it played. Was it Crow and and Clover? That wasn't quite what happened now, was it? Wow. Hmm. Interesting. Wow, cool! I like that callback! Dude, I love that callback! Uh, what song was that? Let me remember. Uh... Bro, I can't remember now. It was a V2 song, I think. Or V1. Maybe this will be the day? No, not this will be the day. Ah, I can't remember. I'm gonna check in a bit. I like this bit here. See ya.
All right. Okay. That was war. All right. So I, I actually was confused. It wasn't Clover and Crow at all. I don't think they actually had a song for that scene. I don't remember, but this was the Ace Operatives versus Team Ruby. So yeah, makes sense now. The, the uh, fucking line. When I kick your ass and look you in the eye with a smile and a cheerful heart, I'll turn to you and wave goodbye. So yeah, this line right here, now it makes sense. I was, I was unsure. Uh, yeah, completely makes sense. I said that this didn't happen. No, it, <laughs> it completely did. Um, but yeah, so the, the thing that I recognized there, I just searched real quick to confirm if that was really it. Uh, and yeah, it was. It was the V2OP. Uh, time to say goodbye. Yeah, because it says here at one point, right? Just a mindless uh, weapon pointed at an enemy, a simple tool providing someone else with the victory. Now let's look back at uh, time to say goodbye. Are we heroes keeping peace or are we weapons pointed at the enemy so someone else can claim a victory? So yeah, <laughs> cool, very fucking cool how they call back to that and the uh, ace operatives are very much that, right? They are just weapons, basically, in a way right uh they don't really care they are so loyal to ironwood that they don't care they don't think basically right they just follow orders yeah that was cool i guess this is basically like team ruby singing to the aesops pretty much sorry for not knowing about that beforehand yeah not knowing what the songs are about definitely can cause an impact but yeah now i know at least so cool celebrate okay Celebrate guys. Let's go. Let's get into it. Oh, okay. I like this beginning. Cool. Yeah, this was a song playing this party here. I don't think it had a lot of focus though, did it? Wasn't it just in the background or something? Hmm. Damn, nice. Very funky. Funky, I love it. I almost feel like it's referencing uh, a song because it sounds familiar. Wouldn't be surprised if it is referencing some song. Love the vocals here. Okay, going back to the first verse.
Oh! Alright. Nice. Gotta love the rap. Ruby knows how to make fucking rap. I don't even know what instrument that is, but I love it. Love that solo. Is it an organ? So yeah, classic uh party funky song. I'm surprised Team Funky wasn't here in this party. <laughs> yeah, just classic uh 80s feel, 80s. Yeah, I think it's 80s. Uh style of song. I love it. Not gonna lie. I fucking love it. But yeah, not much to talk about. I think it's basically just a simple uh celebration song, not much, you know, of note to talk about here they played in that uh, celebration party for robin because she was completely sure she had won the election basically so she made this party here and we all know how that went right she didn't win the election and fucking Tyrion attacked but yeah it's a song for that for celebration and just a cool song cool little song not much to talk about uh, in the lyrics Again, really loved instrumentation. Vocals were great too. Good stuff. I think I'm just gonna go into uh, until the end. See what's up with that. We have uh, after that fear, and then I may fall acoustic. So we are getting close to the end here of USD. But yeah, uh, some of the songs that like didn't have much meaning, you know, to the story in general. I didn't talk much. But yeah, we'll see about this one. I don't even know what this one is when it played. But yeah, let's get into it uh, until the end. We had quite a bit of uh, long songs in this volume. I feel like more so than usual. Four minutes, five minutes. Dude. Good start with the piano. Damn. memories are dark and light is Mm. We try so hard. Yep. But what are we fighting for? We're losing all our strength. How can we? We were divided. We fell for her, for Salem. It's exactly what she wanted. That's a cool line. Damn. Oh, only when you're stronger. Okay. I promise I'll be here until the end. Uh. I promise I'll be here until the end. This song. Completely different mood from the other ones. To live free 
Hmm. Are the same? Oh shit. Love and grief. Wow. Damn, dude. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Whoa. Cool. Yeah. She's gonna be there. To the end, she's not gonna die. Yep, yep, cool, 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 cool. Nice, I love it. Yeah, this is most definitely Ruby taking this. I love this song. I promise I'll be here too. Okay. Okay, guys, until the end. Damn. I don't remember exactly when this played, but not gonna lie. This song is very high on my favorite Ruby songs ever. Okay. What a good song. Holy shit. It's Ruby talking about how she's not gonna give up no matter what happens. I like the love and grief beat there because, you know, just they're both side of the same coin. You love people and then they die. Oh, fuck. You end up having to grieve. If you don't love anyone, you're not gonna have to go through that, right? So yeah, that's a that's a, an interesting point there. I love the line about the tree there, right? The tears of shed. May find a tree to water, but only when you're stronger. So yeah. Basically everything, all of this, all the tears we shed at the end of the day is gonna water the tree. So it's gonna uh, be living a positive thing in the world, right? Basically, at the end of the day, everything we're going through. I, I like, by the way, how... I, I don't know if this is just me or am I going insane, you know? But I think that I'm not the only one seeing this here. And I think that that was, of course, done on purpose by uh, sirs and madams. In that line of the tree, they set up all the words there in a way that it kind of made a tree, right? I at least I definitely see a tree in there. I don't know if you guys see that as well but yeah i think that was most definitely what they were going for right there cool stuff yeah i love how she mentioned uh summer there really nice how she doesn't care she's gonna go through all of this she's gonna live through this basically is what she's saying right until the end i'm gonna be there i promise and she's making a promise to is she making a promise to mom to summer maybe i don't know but yeah great song guys fear is the last song we have here from the OST, I believe it's the song that played in the credits. Then we have uh, I May Fall, uh, acoustic version, but yeah, the, the last one from the V7 OST, uh, Fear is here, so let's get into it. Hmm. Okay. Starting with the piano, and... Uh, okay. Talk about what? There's always a chance that we might remain in ignorance. Interesting. Huh. -hoo -hoo. Yeah, I was waiting for this for the uh switch in style, you know. I mean not quite 
didn't change a lot, but yeah. The guitar definitely adds power to the song. Now it's more of a switch. With the drums and everything. Wow, yeah, 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 definitely. Fear. Yeah, and fear was a, a big theme there in the V7 finale, too. <laughs> Dude, this is so good. I don't know, because he has been lying quite a bit, so maybe it's not him. All that you knew. Yeah. In that moment, interesting. Dude, this is so epic. Okay, not gonna lie. I think uh, V7 is my new favorite ST, okay? Not only my new favorite volume, but my new favorite OST as well. Before it was V4, but it's so good. Yep. Oh shit, yeah. We become what we oh. <laughs> yep. Damn. Nice. <laughs> the darkness. That was it, damn, that was fear. Epic song. Okay, so yeah, they, they put uh, Oscar here in the thumbnail, so which was why I for a second considered uh, Ospin. But maybe it's just a, an Oscar song. I don't know. Does it, yeah, Ospin would make sense, talking about truth. He doesn't live by truth. He lives by lies, basically. He's the only one that knows the truth. But, yeah, you know. So, who will you see in the darkness when no one is watching? Who will you be when you're afraid? Yeah, I think this is I think this is an Oscar song. Because, you know, in the darkness when no one is watching, will you see a stranger? So, like, are you still yourself, basically, right? Feel proud or betrayed? Yeah. By the way, a, a really cool line there that I really liked was, uh, we live in fear that we might fail, fear that we will succeed. So, like, yeah, they, they fear pretty much every outcome. Why every outcome is scary. That's a cool song. I wonder if it is. I'm not gonna lie. It's one of the ones that is a bit confusing for me, but I feel like it is an Oscar song. Mostly because they put Oscar in there and they give me that hint. I probably wouldn't be able to figure that out myself. But because of that, looking at that line, right? In the darkness, will you see a stranger? Yeah. Uh, cool stuff. Guys, 
I think I'm just gonna jump straight into the last song. I may fall acoustic, okay? But Fear was awesome. I loved it. Uh, really like how powerful it is, you know? Really cool. Love uh, those types of songs. With guitars, but also some uh, classic instruments, you know? The drums, the way they make the drums and everything. Just, you know, kind of like an orchestral song, but with the guitars as well. Awesome. Fucking awesome. The vocals were on point as well. I may fall acoustic. Last song of the video. I'm kind of like... Uh, rushing this because it's late as fuck for me. <laughs> I gotta finish this one, so yeah. Let's get into it. Let me fall acoustic. Alright. Interested to see what they're gonna do with this one. There's a day when our hearts will be broken. When the shadow will cast off. Okay, so piano, huh? And our eyes cry Makes sense. Yep. The sun won't rise, yeah. Exactly. This thing still didn't happen. It wasn't V3. To fear. Very interesting. Man, I'm hyped, not gonna lie. For this, whatever this is. Oh, cool. Cool change here. Some new instruments. I love how going back to old songs, you will start noticing more shit as you go through the series. That's awesome. <laughs> Moon is gone, huh? The m Bruh. I, 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 what the fuck? I have a theory about this, not gonna lie. When the moon is gone. Not like this. He won't be my... Yeah, I'm gonna talk about it after I'm done with this song. Because I hadn't um, listened to this song again for a long time, I may fall. And now I notice that this is definitely something that didn't happen yet. <laughs> I always love this uh, this line right here. Tear down death and the taste is sweet. But not like this.
All right. Okay, guys, that was I May Fall Acoustic. Pretty cool. I really like going back to it and, uh, you know, uh, pretty nostalgic, pretty cool. And it was also cool because I got to notice things that I didn't at first. Wow, okay, 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 okay. I am gonna fucking love when we finish this show. Volume fucking 13 or whatever. I don't know how many volumes they plan on making. Hopefully they don't extend it too much. Because, like, we are in Atlas right now, right? We only have one more kingdom, don't we? Do we have another kingdom? Don't we just have a vacuo? And that's it? Uh, and we have one more uh, maiden too that we haven't seen yet, right? Maybe we are gonna go to the Veil again. After, Like, maybe we're gonna have a final volume on the Veil or something. But, yeah, like, you know, I can see a couple of volumes still, but also I hope they don't do, like, Ruby Volume 20 or some shit like that. But, yeah. It's gonna be very funny when we get the finale, we get some crazy shit, we go back to I May Fall, and we're like, bruh, bruh, <laughs> we realize what's up, you know, that's gonna be so funny, can't fucking wait, but yeah, like, because it's talking about, like, some uh, fucking, uh, almost an apocalyptical kind of scenario, because if it was just sky turns black, you could say that that's just an eclipse, right? Maybe they don't understand exactly what an eclipse is, and when it happens, they are gonna kind of freak out and think Salem is doing some shit, but no, it's just a natural thing. An eclipse would look different, though, in the ruby world, since the moon is shattered. So I wonder exactly how that would change things. But yeah, but no, it's not just that, because it says that the moon is gone as well, so... They're talking about, like, this final moment, this final, final battle and stuff, right? This is gonna be definitely the final battle of ruby whenever we get there and it also goes back to that song that we just listened here until the end right uh ruby's gonna she's not gonna die until it comes to an end so that's why here she's saying i, I am 100 sure this is ruby saying i may fall and not like this you no know, not by your hand and stuff so yeah very cool well actually maybe it isn't that i remember i think when i first listened to the song i theorized that this was gonna be cinder or something who knows? We will find out eventually, but yeah. Cool stuff, you know? I love the going back to Amy Fall again. Was a nice uh was a nice acoustic uh, version of that song. Of course I still prefer the original one. The original one is fucking awesome. One of my favorite Ruby songs for sure. But yeah, this is my new favorite OST. If I had to pick a favorite song though, that's hard. Um maybe fear? Until the end is awesome as well. Hero was amazing, but I'm biased since I fucking love Ironwood, so maybe that's my bias speaking. But yeah, I don't know. I don't think I have a favorite, but the OST in general was my favorite. So yeah, good shit. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. I hope you are excited for VA soon, okay? Soon. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Enjoy this call links in the description. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks a lot for watching and peace.